the 49ers' leader at quarterback. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the 49ers and the Falcons just ahead on EA Sports. Turner, 
This man does it all for the San Francisco 49ers. Ranked third in the league in all-purpose yardage and deservedly made first team all-pro. Building on that with a first down here. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively. Got to hold it to a short game. Jordan Cullen Cullen. Touchdown. His second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here on this one, cashing it in for six. And they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed, and this is what they said all week long. One of the things they needed to do differently, whatever they said appears to have worked. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was Brandon Ayu capping it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. He's going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Well, the Falcons now get to stretch their wings on offense here. And at quarterback for them is a former second overall pick who spent four seasons as a starter in Tennessee, Marcus Mariota. After a little bit of job in Tennessee and playing as a backup in Las Vegas, many wonder if Marcus Mariota would get another shot to lead a team. Atlanta gave it to him this season as a bridge from Matt Ryan to the next era. Oh, he's a good runner. Don't discount Mario as a playmaker to win games for the Falcons. He did take Tennessee to the playoffs in the second season and gained valuable experience in Las Vegas. First down, Mariota. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten for the 25. Throwing is Mariota. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Mariota. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. They've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot in the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? That will throw here to his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, that was big right there because they were the bottom five in the league and converting that third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle. And the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. The last run got six. Now second and four. To throw is Mariota. That will be taken in by Demir Bird. And they'll work this down inside the field. You gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And they're gonna move it down inside the 25. A six-yard pickup brings 
brings up second and four. After 24 years. Working to throw again on second down. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 13 yard line. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come in and established the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And power running here down the six yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A seven yard pickup. Brings up second and three. They'll run with a rookie from BYU, Tyler Algier. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. In search of a few yards here to pick up the first down. To throw Mariota. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13 yard line. Samson a and they're going to drop it for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. On fourth down, Mariota is off, and on comes Atlanta's young Ray Koo. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the Second and seven. 
throw it, Mariota. Pressure comes and down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll be taken down, but not before they work out for this
thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football. And, you know, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, so the not ruling on the field is game. You have to be careful from here on out because they only have one challenge remaining.
across the 25 to the 27. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with them down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get in the field of range. Going left side, and it's complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop over 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Johnson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with that time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts right here. Johnson now on first and 10. And he's going to be taken down. And the sack back at the 32. They bring him in off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week 6. We'll begin our tour up at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, and it's the Browns who are out on top. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we'll head to Green Bay. Check out the Packers at home, Lambeau, and it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Former number two pick Zach Wilson with a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis. Check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. James Robinson with a couple of touchdowns there. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play. We're just about set to get back to it. Both teams making their final adjustments, and we'll head back to Atlanta and rejoin Brandon in charge. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three, the Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Time to get another look at Drake London and the Falcons offense. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but no. Second and goal. Brings up second and goal. 
three. Again, it's Hunt. And this time he'll lose yardage as the defense not giving him any room to operate. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Mariota. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Cool knocks this one to the first. And they get it Taking a shot for Samuel. 
This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 84 yards. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive. But there, he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there. And there's a silver lining to all this: his resiliency. Because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, "This stops right here." And how about the positive play he just turned in? Gold able to tank on the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Falcons are both set to go. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. Mario on the throw. And it's incomplete. He took a shot, couldn't connect. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Mariota. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fights through it. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And the Niners are going on offense. First and ten. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's like an hour more, right? He wants more. And it just increases the confidence of his team. Because every play he makes, it means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Okay, it's like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he does it right now. Yeah, he's looking really good. Really sure. And you're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Niners on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and four. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Good to go for Richie Brown. The Falcons are going to have to put their down.
and ten. Here's Mariota. And this nearly an interception. It's incomplete. The turnover really would have worked in there, but not to be. Second down They'll throw again. Mariota. Pass complete to Bird out right here. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Mariota. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40 yard line. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. Down inside the 10. Touchdown!
Spencer, they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career, but we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now you're really hoping for a turnover. Yeah. <laughs> 
They'll look to throw again. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Johnson there to throw on second down. And Samuel caught left side. Now we'll get whistles, and they signal for a timeout. I'm sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. One final shot. They'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here comes the blitz as they look to throw. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And we talked so much about the turnover battle of determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So for the Falcons, their good strike continues as they get their record up to 4-2. And, 